your pupils, how are you? I hope you are well. So let's start today's topic. Our today's theme is Unit 9 Grammar Exercise. Now, first, starting our new theme, I want to check your home assignment. Do you remember I show you the video file from YouTube? The reasons of learning English. Do you remember? Did you write five reasons? Okay, well done. Now let's check. First one, more opportunities. If you know English, you will be more opportunities to work in any sphere. Now, second one, meeting new people. If you know English, you may meet with new people. It doesn't matter. If you know English or any other kind of languages, it opens you uh, to the way to the abroad. Now, next one. Third one, exploring a different culture. So, it means if you know languages, you may know another different culture. Now, fourth one, health habit benefits. What does it mean? It means it helps you to work your brain well and if you learn every day uh, exactly four or five or till ten words, it helps your brain to work well. So, fifth one, discover you can do it. So, if you trust yourself, you will do it, of course. Now, next. Today's our theme is see somebody do something. See somebody doing something. Now, this is the explanation for you. Just you may open your books and copy out this explanation. What is the difference between see somebody do something? and see somebody doing something. Now, see somebody doing can be past, present or future tense. So, and depending on usage. Now, do you pupils, do you know past simple? Yeah, you are right. We add ed or we take verbs from the table. Now, Present simple, you know, and the future tense also, you know, I believe you. Now, I give you some examples. I see somebody doing, because here doing, adding ing, that right now, I saw somebody doing that yesterday. If I come by tomorrow, you will see somebody doing that. Okay, did you copy out the examples? Well done. Now, let's move. See somebody do. See somebody do is most likely future tense. For example, tomorrow you will see somebody do that. So, can you give me examples? Good job. Now, let's move. Complete the table. I'll give you some sentence and you should copy out. Before, I want to explain. If C is changed to seen, somebody do that. Could be past tense. I have seen somebody do that. For example, it is in perfect tense. Now, somebody do could also be used in such a way that it means something has been done before and will probably be done again. Here is one more example. I have seen somebody do this many times. The simple verb is used to describe one complete action. For example, did you see her do her homework? Did you see her complete her homework? Now, here is with pictures. As you can see in the picture, what is action? What kind of action you can see? And here, what kind of action? 
Now, here is sentence. We'll compare these phrases. Two phrases. I saw Tom get into his car and drive away. So, first task is completed. Now, Kate. I saw Kate waiting for a bus. It means the action is not completed. So, next one. I want to give you some examples. You should fill and uh, you may change the sentence. Are you ready? He fell off the wall. I saw this. How can we change these phrases? The accident happened. Did you see it? I give you 20 seconds. You should change the sentence. So, time is up. Let's check. I saw him fall off the wall. Did you see the accident happen? Is it correct with your answers? You are excellent pupils. Now, next task, explanation with examples. One more explanation. The ING form describes an incomplete part of an action. Did you see her doing her homework? Did you see her working on her homework? Even though it wasn't finished. You see? The examples showing it's not completed action. So, here is the questions. You should complete with your answers. Can you do? I believe. Questions. Can Tom play the piano? I have never heard. Second one. Has Jill arrived yet? Yes, I think I heard. Ready? Let's check. Him play. And second one, arrive. I, I've never heard him play. I see, yes, I think I heard arrive. Is it correct with your answers? It means you understood the topic. So, let's move. How do you know I took the money? I know because I saw. You should put here the verb. Now, let's another one. Did the door bell ring? I'm not sure. I didn't hear. I think you found the answers. Now, let's check. I saw, take it. Next one, I didn't hear you lock it. So, let's move. Here is the sentence, of course, with uh, today's construction. We saw Dave and Helen. We saw in a restaurant. You should write the missing words. Maybe verbs. We heard. So, are you ready? Shall we check? Did you find? Here, we saw Dave and Helen playing tennis. And this one, we saw Claire eating in a restaurant. Third one, we heard Bill playing his guitar. So, dear pupils, is it true with your answers? Good. Next task. Your next task is complete this sentence. Use one of these verbs in the correct form. So, I give you 30 seconds. You should copy out these verbs. So, I want to read you these verbs. Climb, come, crawl, cry, cycle, explode, happen, open, run, say, slam, sleep, tell. Did you copy out? Because these verbs, you will need it to put into the sentence. That's why pay attention to these verbs. Now, let's continue. 
First sentence. Listen to the words. What verb we can put here? Repeat. Singing. Yes. Second one. I didn't hear you. In. Which one? I didn't hear. Of course. Come. Third one. Did anybody see the accident? Happen. So, fourth one. We listen to the old man, his story from the beginning to end. And now, did you find here which verb? Yes, you are correct. Tell. Fifth one. Listen, can you hear a baby? Crying. Sixth one, I looked out of the window and saw Tim on his bike along the road. Which verb you did you put? Which verb? Yes, you are excellent pupil. Cycling. Now, let's continue. Here is, I give you a home assignment, self-study. So, pay attention to this sentence. Uh, I gave you before the sentence uh, uh, verbs, uh, so you copy out. So, uh, these verbs you should put here. Uh, this will be your uh, independent task. So, next lesson, we'll check it. I think you understood everything. Is everything clear? Well done. So, did you copy out your home task? Thanks. Okay, everything is clear? Good. Thanks for the attention. Goodbye. Don't forget to wash your hands.